story is called Fetch, and the sort of subtitle thing is more than sh more than you can shake a stick at. Um, and so the the whole story starts off with a man sitting on a porch reading a um, obedience training book. You know, it has like the little silhouette of the dog with devil horns or something with an X through it or whatever, and um, with his dog sleeping at his feet. And so it's it's we spend enough time there to realize that yes, it's a sort of peaceful environment. He's sitting there relaxing with his dog on this porch, um, reading this book about how to make his dog I don't know, better than it already is. Until you hear tires pulling up to the house and this um, package sails in from off screen and lands on the on the porch and slides across until it rests the man's feet. As the, the package tumbles and it startles the dog awake and, and the dog starts to look around like, you know, what's going on? Is, what's, what's happening? There's some sort of noise. And the man realizes the package is there, and he looks down. And as he starts to read the label on the package and see what it is, he starts to get really excited, like, oh man, this is like, I've been waiting for this forever. This is so cool. So he rips open the box, and he starts tearing through it, and he pulls out an instruction book, and it says cross-legged over the box on his porch. Now by this time, the dog is full awake and, and starts to um, wander over and nose around in the box to see what it is that the man has gotten. And he's like, my owner's got this box. What's in it? I mean, this is cool. We've got something new to do. And the man, before the dog can see what's in the box, the man pulls out a, just a plain stick. It looks like, you know, you could have pulled it off of a tree. Tommy in. And uh, the man is super excited that, yes, this stick is finally here. And the, the dog looks at the stick like, really? That's it? That's what you're so excited about, this stick? And uh, so the, the man is holding the stick, and, and he points at the instructions. He sets the instructions down in front of the dog and points at them and shows him these silhouettes on the instruction booklet. It shows a man holding a stick and throwing the stick and this dog chasing after the stick and bringing it back to the silhouette of the man. And so he points at the instructions again, and he points at the stick and waves the stick in front of the dog. The dog's following the stick with his eyes, saying, okay, yeah, yeah, I think I get it. And the man takes the stick and he throws it over the dog's head and off the porch into his lawn. And the dog watches it slowly arc through the air and rest in the lawn. And then he looks back at his owner and like, well, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> So the man, you know, his shoulders kind of slump, and he walks over, and he picks up the stick, and walks back all the way up onto his porch, and again, he looks the dog square in the eye, and he points at the instructions again, points at the stick, and waves the stick back and forth in front of the dog's head. This time the dog is looking at it, he seems to get it, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I get what you want now. Okay, th this works. And so the man, again, throws the stick off the porch, sails through the air, and lands in the tall grass across the street or somewhere outside of the outside of the yard. And the dog bolts after it into the grass. And we wait a couple of seconds, and the dog pretty soon the dog comes trotting back with a wooden spoon. Not a stick, granted, it's it's this wooden spoon. And so the man picks it up and he realizes what it is, is takes a look at the spoon and thinks, like you can see the look on his face, he's looking at the dog like, okay, you know, he's just a dog. It's a spoon, not quite a stick, but I can see how he would get the two confused. And so again, he shows the spoon to the dog, rears back and throws it again off of the porch. And it doesn't quite make it to the tall grass again, but the dog anyway, goes off the porch and into the tall grass again, straight past the spoon. The man's looking at the spoon and past the dog and thinking, I thought he got it. Where is he going now? So the dog pretty soon comes back with various objects that are not the stick. He comes back with, say, like a magic wand that turns into a bouquet of flowers when the man picks it up, a turkey leg, a turkey, I don't know, various things that, that the dog perceives as more useful to the man than the stick. All, all the while, the dog is just so happy to be doing this, so happy to be doing all of this stuff with his, with his master, thinking, Great, I'm being so helpful, I'm bringing all of this stuff to him, he's going to be so proud of me, so happy with me. But the man, all this while, with each progressing object, that gets bigger and bigger and more grandiose and more and more useful to the man, he gets more and more fed up with the dog and more and more frustrated, thinking, this dog will not learn how to play fetch. And it's like, what is wrong with my dog? So the dog finally, the last straw, the dog comes bounding back through the grass, with this enormous rope in his mouth that's almost as big as the dog's head. And behind it, this cruise ship comes crashing through the grass. <laughs> and at this point, the man is furious. I mean, he is just hopping up and down. He's so mad, and he rolls up the, 
the instructions that came with the stick, and he smacks the dog across the nose and points out in the grass as if to say, the stick is out there, and that's what I want you to get. And so the dog, at this point, realizing his mistake, tucks his tail between his legs and slowly slinks off the porch and off into the tall grass. And the man, exasperated, sits back down on his porch and just kind of stares off into space after the dog. Pretty soon the dog comes back with the original stick and he sets it slowly at the man's feet. And the man is overjoyed at this point. He's like, the, the dog has finally learned how to fetch. And he praises the dog and pats him on the head and brandishes the stick about. And he shows the dog the stick again and he throws it. And again, the stick doesn't quite make it off the yard. But the dog anyway bolts off into the grass. And the man again is looking confused saying, <laughs> Why is he going off into the grass again? I thought we covered this. We went over this. And um, so the dog, pretty soon, the dog comes back again, happy as can be, carrying an enormous uh, drawstring sack in his mouth. And he sets it at the feet of his owner again, and the man picks up the sack and undoes the drawstring and outspill all of these gold coins. And he looks, the man looks at the, looks at the bag, and he looks at the dog, and he looks at the bag again, pulls the drawstring closed, smiles and pats the dog on the head and they both walk inside. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Yeah.